Yes, I think so. Aren't they part of the Mycon religion somehow? We have recordings of Mycon hyperwave transmissions from the war. Pretty weird stuff. The Mycons just kind of rambled, never making much sense. They talked a lot about deep children and spears of light, but we couldn't ever understand what they were talking about. What? What did you say? Human, you had better not be joking. Syra is not a subject for Earth humor. Now what do you mean, Shattered Planet Crusts? How? That is what happened to Syra, yes. But we presumed it was a natural cataclysm. A meteor. Do you have proof that it was something else? These deep children? to the debris we found near the punctures on Syra. We never guessed that the fragments might be organic. To have survived re-entry, nothing organic would remain. Unless... Unless it was genetically constructed for this purpose. And only the Mycons possess this capability. The Mycons will pay dearly for their crimes. We will not sit here and do nothing while the Micon fiends are free to roam the galaxy, perpetrating their evil. You wanted our cooperation in fighting the Urquan. You've got it. Provided you first help us seek our revenge against the Micon race. Help us to destroy them. Our first step is to get some mobility. We have some fine starship officers aboard, and they're all eager to go after the Mycons. But without our penetrator starships, we're totally ineffectual. So our first step has to be recovering our Space Patrol combat fleet. We know that the Urquan didn't destroy them. They never waste anything. But we believe they have sealed them in some kind of deep vault in the surface of an alien planet. No, that's your job. But maybe we have some clues to help you find them. The starship officers who flew the penetrators to the vault did so with total sensor blackout. The only thing they could use for navigation was the presence of the dreadnought fleet surrounding them. When they arrived at their destination and lowered their ships into the immense vault, they were transported to the dreadnoughts and only caught a split-second glimpse of the outside world. As far as they could tell, the sun was either red or orange. Based on the trip time calculations, the farthest they could have traveled is about 200 hyperspace distance units. Captain, we've assembled a small team of our most skilled officers. We will send them to your ship on board their own small shuttle. We feel that in the interest of efficiency, we keep our officers away from your crew at least until the mission is over. As soon as you arrive at the vault, our people will take over, figure out a way to open the vault, and bring our penetrators back here. Good luck, brave Earthling. When your mission is successful, maybe then we can get to know each other better.